My name is Uncle George from Big Five Tourism Group. I'm a tour operator. Are you planning a trip to Uganda? Uganda has a vast of tourism products, ranging from the Big Five to bird watching and not forgetting the famous mountain gorillas. Uganda has got 10 national parks, and in all these national parks, at least you expect to see four of the Big Five. While planning a trip to Uganda, there are so many things you have to put into consideration. One, you must have at least a passport and the passport which will need a visa. You can access the visa to Uganda on arrival that's at Etemi International Airport. Two, you need accommodation and Uganda has a vast range of accommodative places from eco structures and two apartments. On your trip to Uganda, the other key important thing is the currency to use while in Uganda. Uganda uses the Uganda shilling and the Uganda shilling trades so well with the other currencies. Most of our hotels, most of the service products can also be paid in dollar. There are a variety of food cuisines that you can have to your test, ranging from local dishes to intercontinental dishes. And this, for every region, offers you a different variety of this taste of food. Most importantly is also the mode of transport that one would prefer to use. Definitely one would need a tourist vehicle. This is a 4x4. But for you to have one, you must have in your budget at least $150 to $300, $500, which will accommodate your transport within the region. However, you can also go by public means. Of late, we also have Uber. These are also recommended for this transport, though they could be a little bit expensive. Public means too, we have the buses. They are so good. And commuter taxis in the city centers. However, we also have the border border that take you from place to place and these are very cheap however not so very safe. Your destination choice in Uganda starts with we the big five tourism group as we take you to these places. One for western Uganda we have quite a number of national parks that give you the four big fives that is Lake Imburu where you have horse ride for a game drive and you have boat cruise canoeing on the same national park we the big five offer you close range face to face with mother nature <music> queen elizabeth national park defines who we are as the big five because it offers you a quite number of the big five we have so many of these are plenty for you to come and enjoy island queen elizabeth national park with the Big Five, you expect to see, not mentioning a few, the chimpanzee. At Kazingo Channel, you have a boat ride that reveals to you the Big Five. One, the king of the jungle, the lion, first off, the leopard that is so critical. Then we go to the buffaloes. We go to the giants of the forest. These are the elephants that are the savannah elephants in Queen Elizabeth National Park. The park also reveals a number of crater lakes that bring you the evidence and feel of bird watching in Uganda. With the Big Five, this is what we bring to you live from Mother Nature. In Queen Elizabeth, we offer you a boat cruise on Kazinga Channel that connects Lord Edward and George. And with this, it reveals to you the aquatic life of this national park. This national park that has hippos, uh, crocodiles, and the bird watching crowns it off to you with the animals taking a sip of the water for this game safari that we just offered you. Maction Falls National Park opens you to the wilderness in the north region of Uganda and it also brings you close to the primates in Chibale National Forest. From here we shall get the chance to see the silverbacks, the adult families or mothers of the babies, the juveniles and the infants. Kidepo National Park in the Kidepo Valley opens you to the wide range of different cultures, the Kalamajongs and the Tukana on the other side of the country, which is Kenya. Uganda is not only known for wildlife, but for those who like mountain climbing or mountaineering, rock climbing, we introduce you to Mountain Elgon. Mountain Elgon has the biggest crater in the world. And we also take you to the Renzori Mountains. 
mountains of the moon locally known also open you to the glaciers at the top and here they lie on the equator line. Uganda gifted by nature, we bring to you the waters of Lake Victoria, Lake George and Edward, Lake Albert to the waterfalls of CP Falls, Sezibwa Falls, Kisizi Falls, Itanda Falls that bring you the activities of whitewater rafting, bungee jumping, sport fishing, canoeing and quite so many more of the aquatic life. We the Big Five also offer you nature walks in this forest, Mavira, Budongo and Windy Impenetrable National Park. Nature walks are very important in a safari. When you are in the forest, you expect to see a lot and a lot of primates in Uganda. Mostly in Uganda we have Budongo, Mavira that have the best species of the primates on this planet which bring you to zip lining and zip lining through the canopies of these eco forests my friend it's an experience that you don't want to miss don't think it's easy it's a work <laughs> entertainment in uganda is one of the key factors that you don't want to miss while still in the country from local and culture dancers to nightclubs and casinos then Moving out to the movies, this introduces you to the life at the beach. The beach life you don't want to miss. Your adventure and safari cannot be complete without the Big Five Tourism Group. <laughs>